guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys tuning in for the day two practice report down here at Table Rock Lake. Got the uh, BFL Ozark Division season opener starting tomorrow morning. Going to give you guys a rundown how my second practice day went. Um, you guys probably saw the video I did yesterday or a lot of you guys did. Gave you guys the day one report so we'll get into day two today. And big thanks to everybody out there guys that's been hitting that subscribe button. I'd like to invite everybody out there if you haven't hit it to uh, click that subscribe button because right now guys only 40 40 percent of the people that watch the videos are subscribed to the channel so it's free and easy just hit that subscribe button it's a good way to help out so much appreciated okay guys i'm still freaking freezing cold man i got back in the truck here it was quite a departure from yesterday if you guys saw the video yesterday i did um super nice day it's probably 60 degrees light winds sunny beautiful day and today it was freaking uh, raw out there today it was like low 40s when, when i launched the boat this morning and it was raining raining pretty hard on the way down here too and then the temperature slowly started dropping all day long and it got windier all day long and right now the temperature is about 30 degrees out there were some snow flurries uh, on the lake when i just came off and uh it feels good to sit here in the truck and get warm man because that uh that it was real cold air it was like a cold wet 30 32 degrees out there 25 mile an hour winds so just completely different day today so anyway guys gonna give you guys a rundown yesterday if you guys saw the video you know it was a really good day caught a ton of fish yesterday didn't catch any big ones but i caught a lot of fish and i guess people i talked to caught a lot too so i guess they were just biting yesterday and they were biting again today um sort of a similar type of day I didn't get quite as many bites probably because the way that i was fishing i uh, started out in a different part of the lake today and i fished there probably i don't know maybe three three and a half hours and i caught probably i don't know maybe a dozen fish in there a couple keepers and then um i took the boat out and i went back over to the area that i fished or the vicinity that i fished yesterday i drove about 25 miles to get to the other area and caught probably another 10 or 10 or 12 fish caught two or three keepers so could have had another uh you know could have had a limit today but they probably would only weighed about maybe 11 pounds or so um so i'm sort of give you my rundown of what i think from the last two days of my uh for, and sort of my plan for tomorrow first of all guys i'm just going to tell you right off the bat this tournament is going to get one spotlight there's no doubt in my mind and you know i'm i'm getting ready to to go into this a little bit and it's not that i'm being negative because a lot of people a lot of people out there you know label me as negative about some things but i'm just i'm just being realistic there's a difference between being realistic and negative this tournament is going to get one spotlighting without a doubt and i'll save you let me guys let me save you the post tournament uh wrap up for what the winner of this tournament is going to say because they're going to say yeah i caught every every fish that i saw in this tournament i caught with live scope i saw every fish hit it if it wasn't for my live scope i wouldn't would have won the tournament i caught every fish 40 to 60 foot deep on the on the, they're going to catch them on some little forward facing sonar minnow with the jig head guys that is how this tournament's going to get won so saying that it's not that you know I'm, I'm not like uh you know admitting defeat right off the bat but i'm realistic because i know the conditions here um i'm fishing shallow i'll be slack that there's a lot of fish up shallow but the 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 quality fish are not up yet it's just the water temperature is still in the mid to, mid to upper 40s fish are starting to move up a little bit there's a lot of small fish up shallow and um i know the way that i'm fishing you know i'm not saying it's a physical impossibility to win the tournament but the good fish are still out super deep they're 40 to 60 foot deep and the spotlighters are going to have a heyday tomorrow on them you know there's just no doubt in my mind the only thing that could possibly set them back is like i said we've got a bad front that's rolling through right now it's supposed to be 20 degrees in the morning it's supposed to warm up only into the mid to upper 30s it's going to blow like 15 miles an hour um, that that may scatter some of those deeper fish out a little bit and it's probably not going to help the shallow fish for sure so you know you sort of have to maximize in these tournaments guys you sort of have to maximize the game plan that you went with now I know in my case, being fishing shallow out there, I know there's a lot of fish up shallow. I feel pretty confident that I'll have 
you know, I'll have a shot to get a limit of fish. And the only difference between me being in the middle of the pack with a limit, the way that I've been catching them, and then being in the top 10 is if I get one of those big ones out of nowhere, one of those five or six pounders. So given that, I've got to make a few adjustments tomorrow. Um, I experimented around a little bit with some other big fish lures. I can't get them, you know, to go on, you know, much on that. Um, but tomorrow I've got to give myself an opportunity to catch one of those big fish. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, a little bit different. I've been fishing a wide range of stuff. I've been fishing spinner baits, jerk baits, crank baits, you know, some swim baits like that. But tomorrow I'm going to uh, put, put a jig on and I feel that there's so many fish up shallow where I'm fishing at that if I go to like a full size jig, slow down, pick a piece, pick apart that cover. Since we have a post frontal condition out there, that might be give me a better chance to catch, you know, a couple quality fish, you know, that I haven't been fishing. I haven't been fishing a jig because I've been sort of trying to cover water here a little bit. So my plan is typical power fishing, shallow pre-spawn fishing, you know, jig, spinner bait, crank bait, jerk bait, you know, the same type of stuff that, you know, we've been fishing here for 50 years in the Ozarks, but that's sort of the reality of the situation right now. It's like, um, I think we're about probably, we're probably about two or three weeks early for the shallow bite to be really be in position to win the tournament. I think if that water temperature warms up probably another six or seven degrees, <clears throat> and uh, we get a little bit farther along in the pre-spawn that that's going to, uh, you know, make those bigger ones move up, but they're just they're just not there yet. I mean, like I said, there's I fished enough and I've caught enough fish to have, to have ha put myself around at least one good one, which I have not even caught. As of now, I haven't even caught a, you know, four pounder in practice yet. So uh, maybe that's coming tomorrow anyway, but Anyway, that's sort of the deal here, guys. Everybody's spotlighting in this tournament. Everybody's spotlighting. Even the people, you know, I've been up today, was up in a little bit more stained water, and they're even spotlighting in the stained water. I'm literally the only dude on the bank that I've seen in this tournament. Everybody has got their head down, you know, glued to that video game. That's just what they've got here. And that's going to be the story, guys. Every tournament from now on, period, you're gonna see him, this is gonna be the deal for any tournament, Bassmaster, MLF, Bass Pro Tour, BFLs I'm fishing here, Toyota Series, it's gonna be the same story. I caught every fish that I saw, eat them on my live scope, it wasn't from my live scope, I wasn't gonna win this tournament, I caught them on a little minnow bait with a jig head. That's, you don't even have to see the tournament results, that's what it's gonna be until we get this crap banned from tournaments, which hopefully that'll be sooner than later, so. Anyway, guys, that's the plan tomorrow. Um, like I said, I'm going to go out there, put put a bunch of clothes on because it's I got a pretty long run to make tomorrow in 20 degree, you know, temperature in the morning and uh, go out there and, you know, hopefully catch a limit and get a good one to get the season started off right. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys following the report. I'll give you the first day tournament uh, competition day report tomorrow. And maybe you can learn something from what I did right or what I did wrong, one of the two out there. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys tomorrow.